hey friend welcome to my channel and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a show off meal basically a meal you make when you're trying to show off them cooking skills all right we're gonna be making garlic butter mashed potatoes steamed vegetables we're gonna be making garlic and herbs salmon and shrimp with white wine sauce show off then friend show off why she showing off like that because baby this look too good that's how they gonna be i'm trying to tell you friend i'm trying to tell you stay tuned you don't want to miss this All right, friend, let's jump right into it. So here I'm using red skin potatoes. I did go ahead and scrub them and wash them. Then I went ahead and I used a potato peeler to remove some of the skin. And I also decided to leave some of the skin on. When you're making yours, you could either remove all the skin. You could do it like me. Or you don't got to remove none of the skin, baby. Whatever you want to do is totally up to you. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut up the potatoes into smaller pieces. Because when you cut them up into smaller pieces, it helps it cook faster faster so you can go ahead and drop them potatoes whole like that in a um in a pot if you want to but they're gonna be cooking forever in a year and ain't nobody got time for that so go ahead and cut up them potatoes into smaller pieces baby so they could go ahead and cook a little bit faster all right and i i had to go ahead and make this video a bit a little bit longer just so i could say this part okay i know somebody ball behind um daughter or son gonna come up under my video talking about some oh my god do you see her index finger it's dirty she got dirt and they need her nails no i don't i don't okay that is actually a damaged nail from wearing artic um articulic nails whatever you know you guys know i love to keep my nails done okay and my nails are always long so um while i had them done i hit my hand i hit my nail actually and um it got hurt really bad and it's actually underneath my skin so it cannot be removed it has to be grown out the only reason why my nails ain't done right now is because I have to let it heal first because it's a little bit damaged right now, okay? So, no, my nails is not dirty. Mind your business. Business your mind. Next. All right. All right. So, then I went ahead and I put the potatoes into a pot and I gave them another wash. Then I put enough water to cover all of the potatoes and I put one cube of chicken flavor bouillon. You can use salt. You can use chicken flavor bouillon. You can use chicken broth. You can use chicken stock. It's totally up to you. You do not have to do it this way if you don't want to, but this is what I wanted to do. So, that's what I did, okay? I used one cube of chicken flavor bouillon and I let that thing boil. While that was boiling, I went ahead and I minced some garlic. I minced some parsley and i cut up one medium size onion do not worry you guys i will have the exact measurements and recipe for you in the description box below okay so if i'm going too fast it's okay friend because i got you in the description box so then i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take a fork and i'm gonna stick my potatoes with the fork if it goes right through they are ready to be strained and your potatoes is done turn off the heat and strain your potatoes then we're gonna leave that on the side we're gonna take a pot we're gonna put it on the stove and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna add some butter we're gonna let that butter melt until um while that butter is melting we're gonna go ahead we're going to add some garlic we're gonna add some garlic the one that some of the garlic that we messed up earlier and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix all that together we're gonna let that mix until all of the butter has completely dissolved and we also gonna let the um garlic cook for a little bit for like one to two minutes if you like the raw raw taste of garlic then let it cook for a shorter period of time but i went ahead and i let mine cook for one to two minutes then when the garlic and butter is done cooking you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move back to the potato and by the way, make sure you're cooking this at low heat so you do not burn your butter, okay? All right. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to put them potatoes back in that same pot we used to boil them. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to smush the potatoes. You smush them how you want to. Some people like it really mushy. Some people like chunks in there. You do whatever you want to do. Then we're going to go ahead. We're going to add that garlic butter sauce we just created. We're going to mix everything together. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. When you're making mashed potatoes, it's always better to add your liquid a little bit at a time you can always add more liquid but you can never take away so you don't want it to be soupy so add a little bit at a time okay then i went ahead and i added some um cream cheese i went ahead i added some salt i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna mix that i'm gonna put a little bit more butter and i'm gonna put some um black pepper 
And I'm going to mix everything together, you guys, okay? As you already know, mix everything together until the butter has melted, the cream cheese has melted. We're going to add a little bit more salt. We're going to add about two tablespoons of um, heavy whipping cream because I felt like it didn't have enough. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to mix everything together just like that then um after that we're gonna just go ahead we're gonna add the parsley it's more as a garnish i just feel like it makes your mashed potatoes look so much prettier so if you don't want to add it baby that's your business you ain't got to add it. if you want to add it friend go ahead and add it whatever you want to yes, do friend look how creamy the mashed potatoes look look how good they look they look so creamy and thick and whoo cha yes all right at that moment your um mashed potatoes is done you're gonna go ahead you're gonna turn the heat at low 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 heat just to the point where it can just stay warm okay all right so here i have my shrimp it's peeled in the vine i left the tail on you could remove the tail if you want to but when the shrimp has a tail on it it just make it look more appealing to the eye when you um plate it okay so i did use a piece of lemon to clean my shrimp just so it don't smell like the sea okay then i use a paper towel to pat the shrimp dry Dry. then i went ahead and that's when you see i added the olive oil the minced garlic the minced parsley and now i'm adding some black pepper and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some creole seasoning and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix everything together so all that flavor could get into the shrimp then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna set that to the side and let the flavors absorb into the shrimp here i have my salmon i already cleaned them i washed them with lukewarm water and i pat them dry okay i'm gonna go a little bit fast you guys but if i'm going to fast for you i do have a video that's only dedicated to the salmon that you can watch where i'm more detailed and i'm not going as fast all right all right i'm gonna have everything for you including the link in the description box and i'm gonna have the exact measurement and recipe for you for this recipe into the description box all right so i went ahead and i put some olive oil on there then i took a half of a lemon and i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna squeeze that and put it on the salmon as well i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna squeeze it use all of that lemon i need all the juices so that it could take away some of that fishy smell that salmon have so it's kind of like cleaning the salmon and also it could give um the salmon some of that lemon flavor a little zest of lemon into there okay and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna make sure every piece of my lemon got some of that olive oil and got some of the um juices from the lemon i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna turn them over and move them around just to make sure everything got some of everything okay all right and the reason we added the um oil on there is because it's gonna help the seasoning stick onto the salmon a little bit easier that's why we added the um olive oil onto the salmon all right, then we're going to go ahead. We're going to start seasoning them. I see a lot of people seasoning theirs with salt and pepper, baby. No, we ain't got time for that here. We're going to be using Creole seasoning. I'm using one tablespoon of Creole seasoning for the entire salmon front and back. So one tablespoon. I'm going to use some of that in the front. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to flip the salmon over and I'm going to use the remaining on the back. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead. We're going to massage that seasoning into the salmon that's how you know it's going to taste good you got to give the salmon a massage they've been had a long day they've been working they that you need them to taste good so you need to show them that they're appreciated and the way you show them they're appreciated is by being good to them and making sure you rub them real good and you show love to them okay all right then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some black pepper that's totally up to you if you don't want to add it baby don't add it. if you want to add it add it and i did go ahead and i did this to both sides all right then i went ahead and i added some mint garlic that i minced up earlier and i added some um, minced parsley that i had minced up earlier and you're gonna make sure you do the same thing you did with that seasoning you're gonna rub it in there you're going to rub it in there. You're going to show that salmon some love. And that salmon will show you love. You be good to the salmon. And the salmon going to be good to you, baby. I'm trying to tell you. Love is an ingredient in cooking. Because when you cook something that you want to cook. And you feel like cooking. It's going to taste good. And you going Because you put love into it. But when you don't really want to cook. And they got you on from that stove. And you trying to make something, baby. That food don't even be that good. Because you ain't put no love in there. I'm trying to tell you, friend. So make sure you show that food some love. All right? All right. This is how it look. I'm nice seasoned who it look love don't it look love you know how somebody they 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 glowing because they look love that salmon glowing child who i'm trying to tell you then this is the butter i'm gonna be using you could use regular old butter okay you guys i wanted to be extra i must have got my taxes that day so i wanted to be extra because i went to the store and i seen this and i said oh i wonder what it do and i went ahead and i grabbed it so now i gotta actually use it y'all just I, I i i just had a little bit of money that's the problem so now i went ahead i put that on the stove 
I'm um, I'm using a big skillet, you guys. I have my heat like out of six or seven. Okay, I went ahead. I put the little butter. I let the butter melt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place my salmon in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the little aluminum tray that we made earlier, and I'm gonna get all the oil and all the parsley and all the garlic and all the seasoning that fell in there. Cause baby, I want everything. Cause my food need that, so it could be really flavorful. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna let it cook. Don't overcook your salmon. Let it cook for like six to seven minutes on each side. Don't don't overcook it or it's going to be hard and it's going to be nasty unless that's how you like it then it's not nasty to you because that's how you like it but um if you just want salmon the regular way not the the hard way then go ahead and, and, and don't cook it overcook it okay then you're gonna go ahead make sure you flip them and you cook them on both sides be careful in flipping the salmon it will give you a run for your money child it ain't easy it ain't easy i ain't gonna lie to your friend but you can do it you can do it i got faith in you i believe in you go ahead and flip it over and let it cook once they're done cooking for um um, six to seven minutes on each side you're gonna go ahead you're gonna remove the salmon and you're gonna set them to the side now we're gonna use that same pot you're not gonna wash it you're gonna leave it just like that because we need that flavor from the salmon that's in there we're gonna put some of the um garlic that we minced up that is not garlic y'all some of the onions that we cut up earlier and we're gonna mix it into there okay don't have your heat too high have it like at a six or seven we're gonna add like two um things of garlic okay two minced garlic if you don't have the little garlic i showed you it's you could just use two minced garlic okay you put that in there and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna let them cook you're gonna let them saute you're gonna let them onion saute okay then you're gonna go ahead you're gonna grab your wine for the white sauce we're gonna use some pinot grigio i got it at walgreens for the 6.99 friend if you want to be more expensive and you more bougie baby go ahead and go get you go to total wine or something and go get you something that's nicer but this, that's what i use for the 6.99 go ahead and put uh, a half a cup into there and drink the rest of the bottle thank me later next we're gonna go ahead we're gonna grab some lemon for the lemon i say you put about one teaspoon of lemon into there okay put one teaspoon of lemon into there and you're gonna let that lemon flavor cook in there then we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream and we're gonna add one cup of heavy whipping cream and this is a great recipe because the, the same stuff that you basically almost using for the mashed potatoes is like almost like the same stuff you're using for the fish so it's kind of like you know like a, a a two for one it's like a special you know what i mean okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some salt to taste i'm gonna have the it's, it's measurements and description at measurements and um, ingredients in the description box okay i'm gonna go ahead and put some salt i'm gonna put some black pepper and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna mix everything together so they could become one as a unit they become married they could become married and become one as a unit okay then i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna add some onion powder and we're gonna mix everything together until it becomes one as a unit next i'm gonna add this grated romano parmesan cheese um i lost a clip of me putting in there but i did put two tablespoons of that into there okay and that's how it looks you want to put that in there you're going to stir it until it had dissolved into the sauce and your sauce look a little something like this you're going to go ahead you're going to put a little bit of parsley you're going to mix the parsley into there and your white wine sauce is complete you are done with that you can set it to the side um keep an eye on it keep it low heat keep an eye on it stir it occasionally okay don't just forget about it all right next we're going to go ahead we're going to take another skillet we're going to put it on the stove and me using my fancy butter again and i went ahead and i put some of that fancy butter on there and um I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to let the butter dissolve. Once the butter has dissolved, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start cooking my shrimp, okay? I'm going to start cooking them shrimps that we cleaned and we seasoned earlier. I'm going to put all the shrimp into the skillet. Um, I have a skillet like at a heat 6-7. We're going to put all our shrimp. Look at the shrimp cook. Don't overcook your shrimp. Let your shrimp cook for three to um three to four minutes on each side. Don't overcook it. Unless that's how you like it, then maybe that's your business. Overcook them things if that's what you like, then. Don't let nobody tell you nothing different because i always tell y'all when you're making your food it's about what you like i don't care what nobody say i don't care how nobody tell you it's nasty baby if you like it then it's not nasty because that's your business okay okay i'm taking some of that butter sauce i'm putting it on top of the shrimp so the flavors could get in there i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna give them things a little toss and turn so i can make sure all the sides are nice and cooked and just like that, the shrimps are beautiful and they are done cooking. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove them from the heat. Last but not least, I'm going to grab me another skillet. This time I use basic old um, butter and I put that into the um, the pan. I let that um, melt. Then I went ahead and I added some vegetables. I added a little bit of salt. I added a little bit of um, black pepper 
pepper and I did cut up my vegetables because they were bigger sizes but I wanted them to be a little bit smaller and I cut them up into little smaller pieces and then you cook your vegetables to your liking okay some people like your vegetables a little bit raw you like it a little bit raw but me I don't like my vegetables raw they got to be fully cooked I don't like nothing raw in my mouth except for one thing <laughs> Mob, let, let's continue never mind all right then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um make sure they are cooked to your liking for me because i like them to be um like not too raw i went ahead i put the top on it so they could steam i left the top of them for like two to three minutes and they're like this because at the same time i don't want to overcook them to like where they're soft and like like it, it won't come up like it's so soft it won't come up <laughs> okay so we want them to be a little bit a little bit hard okay then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna start plating plating is very important you guys because this is how you you gonna make people want to eat your food i did go ahead i used a little bit of um, lemon on the side as a garnish then i set the mashed potatoes on that plate first i went ahead i set my vegetables you're gonna take your salmon you're gonna put it on top you're gonna put a little bit of sauce do not overdo the sauce because you're gonna make it look a mess i'm trying to tell you if they want extra sauce give it to them on the side but just put a little bit because it's gonna make you gonna mess up your presentation okay and presentation is key then you're gonna go ahead you're gonna put the shrimp at the top you're gonna put a little bit more sauce okay you're gonna put a little bit more sauce and last but not least you're gonna take a little bit of parsley and you're gonna drop some parsley at the top as a garnish and friend who shot right here they're gonna be like oh wow ain't no way you made this ain't no way they ain't even gonna believe you made this okay i'm trying to tell you I'm trying to tell you, friend, that dude is going to be like, oh, wow, I need to marry her. She a whole chef out here. She a whole chef out here. Like, what? what, what? I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to comment. Give me your opinion. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye. Until next time.